Hi, Danny. How are you? I'm doing real good. I want to thank you for taking the time to do this interview. I truly appreciate it. Oh, it's no problem. And we're definitely going to discuss your upcoming wrestling weekend in just a moment. But okay. uh, how did you guys start it into wrestling? How did it all start off for you? Well, I always wanted to be a wrestler. And I would always, like, watch it when I was younger. And I grew up with all guys. And we used to always do, like, we'd watch wrestling. And then we'd, like, kind of beat each other up around the house all the time. And, um... I mean, I just grew up watching it, and I was I always did like karate and sports and kickboxing and stuff like that. Um, and as I got older, I was like, I want to be a pro wrestler. I want to be a pro wrestler. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, I definitely need to do it. So, I mean, I looked up what to do, and I ended up going to Ohio Valley Wrestling School to train. So, and then I started there around. Uh, I think it started last year in April, so we're coming up on a year now that I've been wrestling. What was it like going through the whole training process with Ohio Valley Wrestling, considering that people call it the the Harvard of pro wrestling? Like when you are there, chances are your your career is elevated from there. What was it like going through the training process? Um, training was definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be real easy because, like, I had played sports and I'd always been very athletic. Um, so I really, I thought it was going to be easy, and then, then it wasn't at all. So, I mean, I, I it was kind of discouraging sometimes because I thought, I was like, oh, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do this. But um, Nick Dinsmore was my trainer, and he was amazing, and... I kept going. I took the beginner's class twice, actually, because I just wasn't getting it. Um, but like I said, Nick was amazing, and I feel like I learned a lot from him, and then I'm still, I still train all the time. So, I mean, I think training is really important. And uh, I don't know, Ohio Valley Wrestling School is just it's amazing, and if anyone wants to wrestle, I think that that's where they should definitely start. Well, like you said, you've been wrestling for about almost a year now, and I've had a chance to see you, well, not in person at the uh, OVW TV shows, but I've seen the some of the episodes you've been a part of, and let me just say some of my favorite Raylan moment thus far is you and uh, Lady Tapa, um, <laughs> and those were some fun moments. And <laughs> and you trying to you try to make the woman smile and Tapa is a she's a no nonsense serious gal and you with your bubbly personality try to try to get her to light <laughs> try to get her lighten up. I guess I would what, like to play. I feel like we should always be playing, and I love Tapa. She might not love me, but I love Tapa. <laughs> I, I think I think somewhere inside that no nonsense mind of her, she 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 likes you. I guess I guess that's a method to her madness. Y you know how it is. We try to we try to be friends with people, and you know you people want to play hard to get. But I think she likes. Yeah, you. I mean I think she wants to play too, but she she just can't. She wants to take everything so serious. I have a hard time taking things very seriously. So, I think. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm good. Okay. Oh, okay. So fast forward. Um, you you're in for quite a busy weekend, and let's start off with the WCCW show. You'll be debuting there this Saturday. You're going up against Haley Shadows. Um, I guess this is a question I like to ask wrestlers, especially gearing up for a match. Do you have like a mindset? Do you have something that you do to prepare to go up against someone, especially someone for the first time? Well, for me, I like to put on like, I put on the Pandora and I put on the twerk station and I just dance. I prepare for every match just by dancing. I just shake my butt and it makes my mind, it clears my mind and I'm just like not scared. I'm like, I'm just going to shake my butt, warm up and I'm ready. I mean, it might be different for other people. But like I said, I don't like taking things too seriously, so I just twerk out. 
that being said, you know, do you feel like when you in matches, people feel they underestimate you because you 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 like to have fun, you like to twerk, as you say. Uh, do you feel like that people underestimate you? Um, they probably do, but they need to know that I'm a fierce competitor. I mean, I got this butt made of steel. Like, I wouldn't want to come at me when I'm twerking. Well, so, I mean, I think these girls do underestimate me. I, I know I'm small, but, I mean, small people do a lot of things. Absolutely, and it feels like you have a chip on your shoulder. You got something to prove, and, you know, it may take time for people to, you know, I guess what it all boils down to is you want respect, and as, lo as long as... As long as you get respect from your peers, from those in the locker room, then, I mean, and of course fans going to love you. That's always going to be some haters or, you know, haters, critics, naysayers. But as long as you get the respect from fans, as long as you get the respect from fellow wrestlers in the locker room, I mean, that is satisfying, right? Right. And I feel like haters only hate you because they want something you have. So obviously, if you have, if you want to talk about me or if you don't like me, obviously it's because it's, I have something you want. You're jealous. That's how I look at that. And as long as, like you said, as long as I have respect in the locker room, I'm okay with that. At the end of the day, I go to sleep at night knowing that I'm doing something that I want to do and that I'm going to be awesome at this and I'm going to go far with it. So, let's also talk about this coming Sunday. You're going to be debuting at Georgetown, Kentucky for United Wrestling Federation as part of the This is Vixen show. This is an all-female wrestling show. I will be attending, so I will be meeting you for the very first time. I look forward to that. Oh, I know you're excited. Are you going to twerk with me? I'll teach you how to twerk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I will be twerking, but uh, but uh, uh, you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. Okay, okay. I, 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 look, I guess I, I can't take. <laughs> it's all about having fun, I guess. I mean, I can't do it better than you, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'll let you lead, and then I'll be like a backup dancer or whatever. Just you can be my backup dancer. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. So, how do you feel about being a part of an all-female wrestling show such as the Vixen Show? How do you feel about it? You know what? I think it's pretty awesome. I'm really, like, super excited to go and meet some of these other female wrestlers who, you know, I've never met before. Um, but, yeah, I'm just I'm excited about it. I've heard good things about it. So, I mean, I, I'm so honored that I'm going to get to be a part of it. Now, there's plenty of, of wrestlers that's going to be there, and especially those from Ohio Valley Wrestling, such as yourself. Uh, Jesse Bell Smothers will be there. Lila Lodge is going to be there. I, I hear that you are good friends with her. Um, and then there's wrestlers from other areas in Kentucky and Ohio areas. It's, it's definitely a fun, fair show. It happens once a year. It's going to be a, a jam-packed show, so people, please check it out. It is this Sunday. Uh, the meet and greet is 5.30. You get a chance to meet Ray, and you can twerk with her if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> to twerk along. Heck yeah. I hope people want to. It'll be fun. So you get the meet and greet with Ray and the rest of the ladies, 5.30 to 6. Bell time is at 6.30. So, of all the wrestlers that are confirmed to be in there, including Haley Shadows and Amazing Maria, um, if, if you can handpick any person you want to go up against that are scheduled, uh, who would you want to go up against this Sunday? You know, I don't think it really matters who I go up against because I'm not going to be there to prove a point. So, anyone that I go up against, I'm pretty sure I can handle it. Absolutely. So, 
for people that wants to learn more from you, uh, why don't you go ahead and promote your links, social media links, uh, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Uh, just just let people know how they can learn more from you. All right. So if you want to follow, you can follow me at Twitter at Ray underscore Lynn. So that's R A Y underscore L Y N. Um, Facebook is facebook.com slash Ray Ray dot K. And my Instagram handle is Race Car 5. R A Y S T A R 5. Oh, and don't, and don't forget, everybody, you can check out Way on Ohio Valley Wrestling. Oh, and of course, Ohio Valley Wrestling. How could I forget about that? <laughs> <laughs> check her out in OVW. Uh, they do uh, TV tapings on Wednesdays um, at Shepherdfield Road. And the for those that are unable to be at Louisville in person, you can check it out online at ovwrestling.com. And for those that's in the Lexington, uh, not the Lexington, Louisville and London areas, go check it out. Just go to ovwrestling.com for more info. They're going to be on the road. They're going to be at Elizabethtown. They're going to be at Louisville. They're going to be in other areas. So, um, I mean, you pretty much get your Waylon fix this weekend. You get to watch her on TV this Saturday. You get to see her in person at Lawrenceburg, and then you get to see her in person on Sunday. So you get three times the Waylon, three times the uh, twerking. Um, three times the twerk out, baby. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be everywhere this following year, so people will be able to get their fix on me. They're going to be like, oh, my God, this girl again. I'm going to be like, yep, here I am. Hey, I, hey, the more Ray Lynn, the better. I mean, I... I, I, I absolutely. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are some... That being said, what are some other goals you would like to set for yourself? Um, b- Being outside of OVW more, expanding yourself to other shows, or maybe championship aspirations. What are some goals you want to set for yourself? Well, right now I'm starting to go do other things outside of OVW, which is exciting. I love OVW, and I like being there, but, I mean, I feel like I need to get out there. i got to get my face out there. I want everyone to know who I am. 2014 is my year, and I am like the Miley Cyrus of professional wrestling, and everyone will know who I am. I'm going to be a household name. You're the good That's Miley Cyrus. That's my goal. You're the good Molly Cyrus. You're the good. No, the no. good Molly Cyrus. We're just going. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, the thumbs on here, you are. <laughs> yes. Some people don't like it. Yeah. Uh, Homegirl been getting some mixed reactions ever since the VMAs. And I don't know. Uh, she gets She's getting criticized for dropping it like it's hot. I mean, people don't. I mean, how are you going to criticize someone for dropping it like it's hot? I mean,. That's how some people get their workouts in. I mean, that's how I do mine. So, I mean, I have respect for Miley. All right. And, um, Ray, <laughs> <laughs> well, Ray, it was great chatting with you. Thank you for doing this interview. And uh definitely look forward to seeing more of you uh, moving forward. Again, check out OVW. Go to OVWrestling.com for all the days and the times. OVW coming to a Kentucky city near you. And uh, check her out, WCCW on Saturday and UWF on Sunday. Again, great chatting with you, Ray. I look forward to meeting you this coming Sunday. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Have a good one.